I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bickering Book Reviews. Today we're talking about Hamilton and Peggy, A Revolutionary Friendship by Ellen Elliott. And this book takes place during the Revolutionary War, and Peggy Schuyler, the youngest of the Schuyler sisters, is trying to break free from her older sister's shadow and find her own way. And through that, according to the book jacket, she befriends Alexander Hamilton. Um, and the, which is basically my problem with this book, is it's not about what the book jacket says it's about. It's not about what the title says it's about. Let's just be frank. Like, the fact of the matter is, he's there not is in it. no Hamilton. Like, there's <laughs> maybe some of his letters, but, like, he's not in it. And the other thing is, it felt, it, it was really dry for me. It like, was really, there was it, no dialogue. It felt like reading a nonfiction book. And it's like, she's but just. But I read the Hamilton nonfiction book, and it was interesting. This wasn't. <sighs> Well, it wasn't. No. Um, and well, and it felt like she's just like she. Peggy is the narrator. It felt like she was just dropping in all of these kind of historically relevant factoids, but like n- there was no there was no story. Like she was not. Right. There was no story. There is for no her. growth about Peggy and Peggy Marguerite Marguerite Schuyler actually had a really incredible life. She did die young, but she married. She did fall in love. She got married. And she had children, and I just felt like this, like, totally whitewashed her. And there are all these little moments that I think they're supposed to be referencing the show. Like, there's a part where they're, like, in her father's room, her father's office, the room where it happens. And every time they, like, they interact with Eliza and Angelica, they're, like, the Skylar sisters. And I'm, like, is that necessary? Well, and I'm not familiar with the show, so I didn't get any of those references. And who is this book for? It's written like it's for a tween or a teen, but it's about they're trying to get married, they're having babies. A tweener teen who comes in, because there are kids out there who love this show and will read anything about Alexander Hamilton. They're going to come in and get this book, and they're going to be bored. Because I was bored. I'm I'm afraid that if I keep reading books about the American Revolution, I'm never going to want to pick up a book about the American Revolution ever again. And like I said, it totally... there. I don't like books that they tie things to, things such as a musical that's popular with its name and its title and its description because it sells, sells it. Well, it, it it's not about. It's supposed to be about him and her, Peggy, Alexander and Peggy exchanging letters so he can court Eliza. Not 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 no. There's like a letter and that's it. I can't even other I than. I mean, it, it, but like the thing is, like the concept is unique. It could have been interesting. I mean, because she seems like she could have been a really interesting character. She, she could have stood on her own. I think it just needed to be. It needed to deviate more from. The musical, I guess. Even though I'm not familiar with the musical, I think that it just kind of rested too much on that. To me, it felt like she just wanted to write a book about the American Revolution, and she was like, oh, I can get it published if I reference Hamilton. See, but, yeah, because it wouldn't have, I don't know. Yeah. Um, And historically, like, do you know history-wise, like, was it accurate? Wasn't it? I'm not really quite sure. Broad strokes, it's accurate. There aren't a lot. The letters thing is complicated because after he died... And George Washington's wife did this, too. Eliza burned a lot of letters that weren't about his politics because she wanted him to be remembered for what he accomplished. So there aren't a lot of love letters. There are, so there aren't that many letters between him and Peggy. So they, they could have had a relationship. They could have had a friendship. He was with her when she died. There's a letter he sent Eliza because he, he did view her as a younger sister. And, like, the ideas of, like, Burgoyne and that stuff and the stuff with Philip Schuyler, that was broad strokes accurate, but I don't know the details how accurate it is. Well, and I also wonder kind of how much history played into it because I expected a really decent bibliography at the end, and you didn't get you that. Didn't get, you did get a thing about where she goes on about how much she loves Lynn and Will Miranda. Which we so, do, too. But still, um, I don't really have anything else to say other than I don't know who it's for, and I thought it was really, really dull. Yeah. I mean, it's going to sell. It's going to sell. sell. Oh, the kids gonna are s- going to pick it up. I it's, just They're not going to like it, though. I'm sorry. There might be some that like it, but my kids aren't. I am. Yeah. We should rate it. Okay. So we start at, the, start at the top with five unicorns, go down to two unicorns. If it's not good, it's a horse. Where are you? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I haven't done it before. I'm giving it a horse. I'm giving it two unicorns because it made me want to listen to the Hamilton soundtrack. And that's all I got. No, that's where we I'm are. I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not going to recommend it either. I'm but sorry. That's where we are with Hamilton and Peggy. Sorry. Bye. Bye.